hello everyone welcome back so today in this video i'm going to show you how you can import the csv file data into this sql server database all right but before that let me show you this is the folder okay and the folder name is called as a pizza cells data analysis man inside this folder i have a csv file that is pizza underscore cells all right if you will click over here then right click on it then go to the properties and here you can see this is the extension of this particular file is .csv, right? So it says CSV file. So now if I open this CSV file, here you can see this is the CSV file, which contain total 12 number of columns. And if I will click on this particular column, here you can see this is the total number of records that we have inside this particular CSV file. Okay. So now I want to import this data inside this SQL Server database. All right. So let's see how we can import that CSV file data inside this SQL Server database. All right. But before that, let me show you. This is the SQL Server database. And here we can see the options called as a database folder. And if I will expand this, here you can see we don't have any database, right? It means we have to create one database first to import the data into this SQL Server, right? So just right click on this, then click on the new database, or you can see. Here we have options called as a new query. So just click over here, then write down the query like create database pizza. All right. Then give the semicolon, then select this sentence and click on execute. All right. And here you can see we have successfully created the database called as a pizza. So now next is you have to use this database, right? Because by default it is in the master database. So we have to use this database that we have created right so for that here you have to write the query that is use database pizza right so p a is as a a then give the semicolon got it then just run this query and here you can see we have changed the database from master to pizza right but still in the database folder we are not able to see this pizza database so to see that just click over here then right click on it then click on this refresh button and now here you can see we have successfully created one database that is called the pizza and if i will expand this here you can see we have a folder called as a table so if i will again expand this table folder here we don't have any table till yet right so now our task is we have to import this csv file data inside this table folder all right so for that what we have to do just shrink it out all right then right click on this particular database then click on task and inside this task we have so many options like import data export data and import flat file all right so if your data source is csv1 so you have to select this import flat file and if it's it is in excel format then you can click on this import data and if you want to export the data from sql server to any other format then you can click on this export data so as our data source is in the csv format you have to select this import flat file all right then from here you have to select the specify input file then click on this browse button then go to the desktop and here we have a folder power bi and sql project so just double click on it then open this folder and inside it we have that csv file right so just click here then click on open then select the schema okay so here i want to keep the schema as a dbo then click on this next button okay and here you can see we have the error message like please check if it is used by another application okay why we are getting this error because we have opened this csv file here right so first of all we have to close this one got it then click on next and here you can see we have successfully moved to the next step right and these are all the data like 13 columns and 48,000, nearly about 48,000 number of records, right? Then here you have to select this one, use risk data type detection, then click on this next button. So now here you can see these are the 12 columns name and these are their data type that has been detected by the SQL server automatically, okay? So now if I want to change the data type of these columns, then you can click on this drop down and you can easily change the data type of these particular columns got it so let me do it quickly so pizza id is i want to keep it in the small int order id it is in the int section then here 
pizza name id this is in nvercar so if we will go to this previous button here you can see pizza name this is in the text format then other are in the date time decimal and decimal right so just go next and here or and likewise and as per your need you can select the data time from here so i want to keep the pizza name id is in nvercar so i want to keep it in the vercar format okay then here you have to change the size okay 50 is less if you will keep it as 50 then maybe you can face the error because the number of text or the we can say the number of character if it will be more then the data will not go inside this particular table okay so i will keep it as 200 likewise here you can change any data type wherever you need all right okay then here also i want to change the size to 200 then let me do it here as well got it then i want to keep the pizza id as the primary key so just click here then click on this next button then click on this finish step okay and it is in progress and here you can see we are getting the error so just click on this and you can see the error like the given value 256 of the type string from the data source cannot convert it to type teen tiny int for column 1. So we are getting the error message in the column 1, right? So just click on OK. Then go to the previous step. Again go to the previous step. Again go to the previous step. And here, here you can see this is the column 1. And in the column 1, we have taken the data type as the tiny int, right? So here you can change the data type from tiny int or from small int to simple int all right let me change it in all other columns as well got it then again click on this next step then click on finish and now it is in a progress so just wait for a few seconds and here you can see we have successfully import that csv file into this pizza database all right then if you click on this success step then here you can see and now you can see the following task completed successfully inserted data right so just click on ok then click on this close tab got it so now it will expand this here you can see this is a table button inside this pizza database so just again expand it and here you can see we are not able to see the data because we have to refresh it so just click over here then right click on it then click on this refresh tab and now as you can see here we have successfully created this pizza underscore cells table so just so now to see the data you here you have to select the query like select star from this table name so just drag it and drop it over here then give the semicolon then select this one and then click on this execute and now as you can see here we have successfully imported that data from csv file to the sql server database got it so in this way, you can easily import the CSV file data into this SQL Server database. Alright, so thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.